Yo, I don't know what happened. We we were go- we were gone, man. As soon as Freddy Wap came in, then everything ran away. Like <laughs> I don't know what happened. But anyway, I was going over the tools. If it goes off again, that means I'll, I'll take it as a sign that somebody upstairs wants me to run away and not be on this app right now. So, wait, right, Two Face, shout out to my boy Two Face, Charlie. So. I'm going over the tools in the app. I'll probably upload the f- previous video plus this onto my YouTube channel. Go ahead and follow there too, because Charlie, boys, they need money, tro- take job dancing. Anyway, so what was I? Let me quickly move on from this. So I already spoke about what this does. Shape tool, so you can draw lines, circles, and ellipses. Ellipses, ellipses. I don't know. And you can do rectangles and squares. Why you would need this, only heaven knows why. But it's there. Then you have this uh, basically line straightening tool. If you want an ink, this is what I primarily use. So it takes your lines and it sharpens them. If you increase it, it'll help you sharpen it even more. And increase the intensity to give you more sharp lines. Uh, like even if I do this, it'll probably straighten it. Yeah, there you go. Stuff like that is sometimes it can be too harsh, so be careful of your settings, and make sure that you you know what what kind of strokes you're trying to make. Pause, so that you can get the right kind of effect you're looking for. Then, if you want to insert a picture, because sometimes you want to insert pictures. You can use this and just select the image from wherever you want. This is another image that was created in this very same app. And you have your set the same settings that we had before with the move tool you have up there. You can do certain things. All right, boom. Now you have this picture in here. If you want to do that, maybe you want to trace over the picture to do something. I don't know what you're into. I'm not a freak like that. Anyway, I'm just joking. All right, so you've got that down. You've got your perspective tool. If you want to maybe draw a cityscape, if you're that kind of talented person, you can draw your cityscape. So, like, let's say I want to make a, a city where maybe some web slinger rides, runs around saving the innocent and fighting goblins. This is what you do. And, yeah, man. You can use this to draw a city or you could draw like a house or stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not perfect at using this tool, but I can do something. So I could draw this. Yeah, so you can kind of create La La Z. I didn't even know La La Z was following me with it. Because I, all I know is she's like maybe the best dancer in Ghana, man. Wow. She's in the live. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Lala Z, man. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Is it Lala Z or Lala Z or, or La Lady? I mean, no, no. Well, you know, big up yourself. All right, so there's different type of perspectives. We know this. So this is like one point. You got your two point. Those of us who went to study uh, visual arts in school, we know. Oh, shit, you can move it around. I didn't even know that. So I'm learning something. So I can do two point perspective. All right, so if I want to, like, turn this. So I could like draw a house with this, right? I could draw like the little, uh, what do you call that shit? Andy, shout out to Andy, man. That's my 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 G from a a long while back, man. A real one right there. Anyway, Charlie, 
So you can draw your little windows and stuff like that. I don't know why it's so finicky. And maybe it's me not doing the thing right. So don't blame the app. Maybe you can get it to work. But for me, it's finicky. Then you got three-point perspective. I have a cust you can use this customizable grid or this thing to customize the grid. You can constrain the grid and basically also lock this lock thing comes in handy when you're using any of these tools. And if you don't want to show it, but you still want the effect to use this, I can't tell you what this does to be honest. And I'm not even going to try at this point because what the hell is all this? Then you have your type tool, which is very useless. Because the amount of fonts you can use on Android compared to iOS or not even iOS, it's the application. The amount of uh, fonts you can use is atrocious. So I wouldn't use this for any graphic design work whatsoever if, it, if you're using typography. You could probably get something done if you do it freehand. I wouldn't advise using the type tool. And if you want to record your session, you have your recorder there. So I've gone through basically all of those tools at the top, except for these two. If you want to undo and redo that, there you go. And then this is like your options and your menu. If you're using a stylus, go into your preferences or you don't even need to do that. Just click on pen mode. Sorry about that. You see, sometimes, right, you're, when you're used to doing like it type shit then you want to say oh go into settings go and do this you know, that shit was right there so i was getting ahead of myself all right so how do you access brushes so you have this thing right here sometimes this thing doesn't show go down to the little button at the top you'll see a little circle there you'll have your uh undo and redo in the corners then you have your options here so you can use this to go to your last brush, your eraser. You have an eyedropper tool down there. And you, then you have this right here. So if you don't see your, this whatever this monstrosity is called. Um, I don't know what this is, what, what this whole thing is called. But it is your brush panel. You can use it to manipulate your brushes. Right? Click on that. So it's called a double pick. Because it just popped up, so it told me. And this right here is your flip canvas. So with this little thing here, you can easily access all of your brushes at any time. By clicking at the top, then you have access to all the brushes. If you have the full version of the app, wink, wink, you can find the APK, wink, wink. I didn't say anything. Anyway... I have paid for mine, so in case anybody wants to think that I didn't pay for it, you got another thing coming. I paid for this. So you have all these brushes. You can actually change the settings of the brush, the size and the opacity. Some of them you can do more things with than others. You can change the flow, the strength. You can go into advanced settings and change the pressure. So you can actually really manipulate these brushes to do things differently on some of them. And you have uh, colorless brushes, which I don't use at all, so I can't really tell you much about. So, you have your brush panel. I usually stick to the basics. Maybe that's why I'm not super duper famous yet. So, you have all of these brush settings. You can click um, the colored portion of it, and you can get access to your color wheel and if you don't like this outlook you can get the hex outlook by clicking on this panel right here you have your color history so it has um pre use swatches over there you can manipulate rgb hsl you can go for your hex here then you have your more hsl settings and you have your hue settings here so if you have a particular color and you know the color that you want to use you can input it in the hex panel down there and yes you can manipulate and change you can change your hue so the hue is the color the value of a color its richness its darkness 
and then you can change the overall color. You understand what I mean? So it'll show you even the complementary color of what you've used. You can pin this right here and have it open. Really cool stuff. Oh, I, for I forgot to also show you. You can change the saturation by sliding either which way on top. So you hold and you drag to do that. And you can see the change in saturation. You can also change the luminance by going up or down. Right? You can change the size of the brush by clicking on, like, by tapping actually, and then holding and sliding. Now, the size of your brushes will be relative to the pixel density of your canvas. So, always keep that in mind. So now I've gone over every friggin' thing. Shout out to MJ Samini. AKA Jumulatu Mamudu. Alright. So let's get back to what we were doing before. Let me discard this current sketch. Discard. And we over here. So we're about to make this thing look lit, hopefully. Or knowing myself, I might fuck it all up. Either way, we're on course. So, now that we know all of the brushes and all that, we just go straight into it, man. So, you change your brush size. And I told you how I use this thing a lot. So, make sure you turn that on. Fuck. I got a phone call. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm hit you back. I'm going to hit you back. You're not even supposed to know. Anyway. So, I'm going to just draw and ink over. So, I already had the dark parts, like, shaded already. So, I just go with the flow. Remember, I said you could do this with any mobile device. You could do this on your smartphone. I did. I've drawn like so many drawings on my smartphone in order to learn this shit. And some people might ask a couple questions. So I'll, here's some questions I'm sure somebody will ask. What is this app? I already said it was Sketchbook Pro. Is this Procreate? No, it's Sketchbook Pro. Is this app better than Procreate? It is at some things, but for most things, it is not. Why don't you use Sketchbook Pro? Because I don't prefer it. I mean, I, why don't you use Procreate, sorry? Because I don't prefer it currently, because I'm used to this, but I might switch soon because I'm starting to like it a lot more. Can you, if you have any questions, you can still ask in the, in the comments. I'm just being a little bit sarcastic for nothing. Okay. You see, I'm drawing abs. I've only had abs like, wait, maybe once in my entire life. Visible abs like that, Charlie. Right, right, you boys. Boys make fun to Charlie. <laughs> Okay, so you know, sometimes like the little lines that are under the actual artwork, like the artwork that I did previously, lead the little squig squiggly lines undo. I just accidentally filled the layer for some reason. I do not know why. Let me see. Yeah, it's in pen mode. There we go. 
some of the squiggly lines on there, I use that, like I maintain it, so I, I might ink over it just to add texture. Because it makes it feel more texturized. Jay Frank. Shout out to Jay Frank, man. Why is everybody popping in today, man? Like, where y'all been at? Is it, or is y'all expecting me to see me twerk or some shit over here? Because that's not going to happen. Cause I know, I know, I know, I I I got that body, but y'all 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 not gonna see me twerk on here. And Abdul, shout out to Abdul, man. Funny enough, Jay Frank is built just like this dude, man, with the big chest and all that. I wasn't thinking about you when I drew it, man. Don't get no ideas. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Shout out to my family, man. Shout out to my brother. Shit. <laughs> Jay Franks, man. That's the real one right there, man. A real, real one. Nothing but respect for Jay Frank, man. Nothing but respect. Yeah, man. Yo, I didn't give this homie a face. I'm going to leave him faceless, though, because... I don't know. I'm lazy like that, man. That's my brother right there. Shout out Angela Fideli. Angie, Angie, man. Shout out to Angela. She's also a real one, though, for real. The realest Italian woman I ever met. <laughs> no face, no case. Shout out to you, Jake. Yo, man, I gotta buy a new table. This whole thing shaking. It might even fall down right now, bro. Let me go, bro. Oh, I forgot. This thing is off. Remember this? Always turn on that, that thing right there. So that the lines look nice and clean, man. You want the lines to be straight. There we go. Yeah, man. I appreciate you for popping through, bro. We'll link up, man. We got to probably get a workout in or something. I appreciate you, family. Okay. I think the next live I do, I'm going to probably just sit down and chill and then talk to y'all and see what's going on. Today, we, we, we drawing. Today. But the next time, we just talk. And discuss things, you know, and sip some tea. You know what I mean? Yeah, my brother, link up. We we definitely gotta do that because soon I ain't gonna let me keep that let me keep that to myself, man. I'm talking too much. I know too much. <laughs> uh, that's my brother. I love my brother, man. I love my brother to death. Uh, I think somebody sent me a message. Yo, I whoever sending me messages, I can't see it right now because I don't have my phone with me. I could check my iPad, but I'm lazy right now. Okay, so it's coming out okay. So we just gonna keep it that way. You can change the the brush and make sure. Keep changing the brush and keep making sure that you can vary the thickness to give some more dynamic looks to whatever you're doing. Funny enough, I tried a, one of those more gran granular brushes before to give the artwork more of a rough look, but I don't know. It wasn't for me, man. A little too much maintenance. I tried that on Procreate. I have not successfully till this day 
inked something on Procreate and said to myself, I love this. Which is the reason why I still use Sketchbook. But I prefer it on Android to iPad, even though it works better on iPad. Everything works better on iPad. So if you start in fresh, just go get yourself an iPad and save yourself some of the trouble. However, that doesn't mean that if you prefer Android, you can't use it. Because I'm obviously still using it over the iPad. And this doesn't like have 120 hertz. It doesn't have any of that fancy stuff. This is a um, tab at six from like 2000 and I want to say 2019. 2000, yeah, probably 2019 is when it came out. So it's old. It won't even get any more like. It has its last software update for like major updates. But I'm still using it and it still works fine. It does everything you want it to do though. Screen is good. You can play games on it. Also, another thing that the iPad does better than this is games though. I'm not even going to lie to you. So if you're trying to start art... You can still get one of these or you can get something newer or older, whatever your price range is. Just make sure you're comfortable with whatever you're doing. I need to make sure I download these videos and put them on YouTube today. Yes, sir. There we go. So... Funny enough, nowadays, when I'm done doing all the inking and color work here, I take these into Procreate and use the effects in Procreate now. So, I hope either the people at Autodesk update this to do some of those things better. Or I might just, you know, make that switch and go to Procreate. But I... I don't know. I also just don't want to be all caught up in the Apple thing, man. Because I tried that two years ago. Got myself an iPad, which I still have. And an iPhone, which I don't have anymore. And I just couldn't for the life of me make that work. It just didn't work for me. The iPhone was just annoying, man. You could, I just couldn't... Do basic shit. You know, like sharing stuff is unnecessarily difficult. If you're not into that type of stuff, like you're not going to care about sharing and making sure that you can, you know, send and receive things. But I don't know. Where did Angie go? Is Angie still in here? Or she ran away? Did Angie... Maybe Angie saw the big muscular man and ran away, man. I don't blame her. Okay, there we go. Uh, shit, man. The annoying thing about being on Instagram Live is they don't let you use... Um, my music, you can't listen it. At least, I, I've seen people be able to listen to music and not have any issues. But then, I listen to some music and then there's some problems. I don't know how that works, but whatever. There we go. 
There we go. probably don't I don't know I'm not even intentionally trying to draw a face but it's just coming to me quasi Yeah, man, I'm a mad silent right now. Oh, shit. It's the Nsama. Tommy, Tommy. It's the Nsama. One of my guys right there, man. Serious, serious guy right there. You know, do this from the Congo, bro. I want to go to Congo one day, man. Real talk. Is it? Uh, are you from DRC or which which one? Cause I forget which one. Uh, I don't know. My my memory is so bad, man. When you get old, like I'm getting old, man, you can't remember nothing. I can't remember shit, bro. Fuck. <laughs> There we go. So I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna use some of the textures under to give some extra and switch the brush over. I like this brush right here. The dotted one. This this dotted brush. Let me see if I can make some changes to the brush. Settings. Oh, you can even change the let me see uh, the way it is is I man well nah bro it's a little There we go. Who is it? Angie the cutest. Shout out to Angie. Nobody Angie from Kumakarats. Let me turn this off. Man. Shout 
Shout out to Angie, man. A lot of people tuning in right now. What's going on? Yeah, it's coming out okay, right? For those who are still tuned in. Because a lot, a lot I'm lucky a lot of people just coming in and dipping, man. <laughs> they come in real quick, dip. Wait, oh, what this brother do? Oh, he drying? Oh, I'm out. Mm. Bye bye. <laughs> it is what it is, though, man. It's all, it's all good. And Angie the key. Uh, yeah, I think that's Angie from Kumaka, bro. She came in when I was live with Macklin, man. So let's see what it look like without the thing. Oh, it's coming out okay. That's that's not bad for the meantime. We add some some more of these little dots, spread. That's one of the things I like about digital art, man. You can you can get certain things done a little bit easier. <sighs> okay let's switch back the brush go back to my little pen this inking pen is my favorite tool in any drawing app man there we go there we go there we go There we go. 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 Let me tell you a story while I'm talking. So there was somebody I spoke to recently. Okay, I'm not going to divulge who the person is while I was speaking to this person. So when I was a kid, this person was like, I'm always drawing. Why do I like drawing so much? You know, you can't do anything with your drawing. And I was like, well, one day I can write a comic book. And he said... You know you can't, and 
you won't be able to make any money with it. And what's it called? I said I could be like Stan Lee. This person was like, no, you can't, right? Fast forward to how many decades or however long it's been since that. This person's like, man, I remember you used to draw. What happened? You know, I'm like, I still draw. And he's like, well, you, you should be trying harder. Because look at look at Marvel, man. Look at the movies they're coming out with. They were all comic books before. You were drawing comic books. Where were you doing it all before? before, before? Why were you doing all of that? That's like just a little le life lesson right there. Because some people will hate on you and devalue you your talents. And when they realize that maybe you're not at where you want to be yet, they're going to come to you on some bullshit and talk about what you haven't done when they themselves were not ready to support you. You know, I've been drawing for a long time, man. And I'm still going to keep doing it. Because, you know, it's what I do, man. That's my thing. Everybody has that thing. If you have something you like, keep doing whatever it is you like doing, man. So far as you're not annihilating people or committing mass genocide or some shit. And it's something that you enjoy doing that's really that some people like because i can't lie and say that some people didn't support me or not that nobody ever told me i was good tons of people have but what i'm trying to say is like just keep doing what you're doing because you love the shit that you do just keep doing that shit man shit Damn. I don't know if I like this dude's face, but we'll take it for the meantime, man. I might change it. I don't know. Can we talk for a minute? Girl, I want to know your name. Can we talk for a minute? Okay. If I put this on YouTube, this whole thing where I'm drawing, I should probably make sure that I edit it in such a way. There we go. Can we talk? For an hour. Oh, f fuck, I forgot. I'll do that later. Or well, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. I don't think there's anybody left in this live, bro. Which is okay. We still want to keep doing it.
Mm-mm-mm-mm. Oh shit, somebody's in here with me. At least one person is. Whoever that is, man. Shout out to you, bro. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Well, shout out to you. I'm guessing it's the same person who's been in here from the beginning. Well, I'm not I'm not too sure. Uh, I don't know. Cause I'm I'm doing this very lazily. Can we talk for a minute? <laughs> I don't know why that song has been stuck in my head, bro. That's for something. Okay, boom shakalaka, man. We got the basically the full thing inked. That took however long it was going to take, but we got it done. So the clouds, I'm not going to ink the clouds on the simple fact that I want them to look a certain kind of way. And I'm not going to ink this either. So instead, I'm just going to keep him inked and then probably darken some aspects. So I'll probably use the paint bucket tool. Fill here and then fill there. And yeah, man. And then use like this pen tool here. And then I'm going to like just darken over here. And yeah, oh shit. And then just darken here as well. Boom. How does... How, if, if anybody's in there, I don't know if anybody's in there. <laughs> okay. So, what am I going to do next? Here's time. It, it's time for like a little bit of tips and tricks, man. So, I'm going to use the this tool right here I forgot what it's called the selection tool oh, the slider makes it more harsh so we're gonna deselect that put the slider down yep there we go now I, I got it the way I wanted it and then what I'm going to do is use the paint bucket tool and I'm gonna just dump a whole bunch of shit in there I'm gonna go back here to this layer, use the selection to one more time, and I'm gonna go back to this layer and dump some paint in there. So what I'm gonna do now is use the selection tool and then I'm going to create a layer under the one that I wanna keep. Delete I'll delete let me delete this real quick. Then I'm going to pick a color, probably brown because he's going to be a black dude. So brown skin, boom. And then under here, I'm going to use the pen tool 
and I'm going to fill it up because I just want to. There you go. So now I have a nice little lead I'll use to serve as a placeholder. So we're going to create the sky. All right. So in order to create the sky, I want to use this tool right here, which is the gradient tool. And then create a gradient. So I'm going to make the bottom part a little bit of a red tone fuck all right let's let's try one more time then i'm gonna make this a blue a little bluish all right oh shit wrong layer <laughs> wrong layer wrong layer Always gotta make sure you do it on the right layer. That was the wrong layer. Blue. Okay, and then this, I'm gonna make it a little bit of a lighter blue. Boom. Okay. That's okay. So if you remember on this, these are clouds. So what I'm gonna do, let me make the full sky first and then worry about the individual clouds. So here's how we're gonna do that. We have a new layer on top, go and get the soft brush tool, make sure it is white. Increase the size and then just like pass around and create like this fluffy effect in certain key areas. So, here I'll do some at the back, it's a nice little fluffiness going on in the corner here. Make sure your pressure sensitivity is set properly and here as well. Take the color picker, choose this color, use a lighter version of the color and right under here do the same thing. Right here under the white fluff we created and here as well. Take a darker color fluff around then go and take this color again on the top Lighten the color slightly. There you go. I can get some pure white. And at the top, kind of make these like, you know all those squiggly lines we used to make? We wanted to draw clouds, do that at the top with a smaller white brush and kind of just define the edges a little bit of where it starts and where it ends. Use a little bit of the grays, decrease the opacity, and the bottom part of it just like lightly 
on the bottom part of the clouds just lightly add like this gray tone and adjust it accordingly take the red again from anywhere because we're using pressure sensitivity just lightly lightly just add some around lightly yeah it's looking pretty okay we'll add more to that later so I'm just gonna merge it to what I have on the background and make that one layer and I'm gonna create another layer turn that off so for the actual clouds that I want I'll select the layer okay so so because I know that this is the cloud that I'm gonna make my man step on and here as well here as well here as well here as well and then maybe this one here so these are the main clouds of focus so they're the ones that will get the most development so I'll turn this back on on top of this I'm gonna do another gradient this time let me do one that is a the linear one like this um, all right and I'm gonna use the blend modes to change this to multiply nah that's too harsh overlay something something let me get something Uh, darken I think color brand and then I'm gonna just like decrease it let me see eh, no forget about it then I'll, I'll use a different color probably but let me just focus on getting this done Because the bird, 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 the bird is the word. I bet. There we go. Right, so we use a little a bit of gray because he's standing on top. And that's going to serve as the sh cast shadow. And then, so let's, let's def start defining the, the cloud and giving it a shape so that we know what we're doing. So you take a brush, make it smaller, and then around the edges, you define the edges. Where does it start? Where does it end? Okay, boom. There we go. Then the same thing here. Where does it start? Where does it end? Boom. And then the other clouds. Just circle them. It doesn't need to look the best now because we'll work on it later. So right now the biggest challenge is to make sure that the background and the foreground do not look the same so probably we're gonna add color to this to make this cloud different than the other clouds so let me see if we can use the color balance to change the, these colors mm, that's all right let's use a little bit of yellow give it some divine lighting uh, make it stand out because the whole concept is supposed to be him in the sky, walking, and then the clouds are being basically created from his feet, which is like part of a lore of the character. 
and then there was a cloud here if I if my gumption serves me well so we're gonna make the clouds that he creates freshly golden so they're golden clouds so the point of impact then will give it a harsher color and then we do these lines on it basically kind of like shines it's a shine so this one is so it means like anytime he steps in the sky this shine this bright light that creates these clouds so because there's a shine we'll add some highlights to the cloud itself good so to make this more legitimate we can use a different brush if we want to and that could be we could use this one just to give it this extra kind of like glow to it I'm even I'll probably put this in Procreate and change it later, but for the sake of the app and the lesson. There you go. Boom. So that's for the meantime, just a the placeholder is not really anything special right now because this takes time. I need to go do some push ups real quick. Come back, man. Real talk. Okay, gold. The cloud is gold. So add some white to add the highlights. Thomas is not bad, it's not too bad. <sighs> then we need to employ aerial perspective as well. Let me create another layer on top of you right here. Multiply. I didn't talk about blend modes, did I? And I'll talk about that in another video. And I'll explain what exactly they are. distinguish whatever these really are from everything else okay I thought I saw something there we go oh I got a few seconds remaining so there is a timer on this shit i can't go for live for more than a couple of minutes that's crazy all right so we got nine seconds until this video ends so thank you for everybody who is in here because i'm not i'm, I'm